Hey everyone, and welcome to this new section where we will study the stack data structure. On this lesson, we are going to introduce the stacks and the idea of a stack. So the data structure stack is very, very easy to visualize. For instance, we can visualize a stack to be a stack of cafeteria trays, a stack of pennies, a stack of shoe boxes, or a stack of neatly folded shirts. And something very important about the stack data structure is that the last element that enters the stack is the first element that leaves. So in computer science, we define a stack to be a linear data structure that only allows the operations of inserting, deleting, and carrying elements at one of its ends, which we will call the top. It is a last in, first out structure. Since we explained the last element that we insert is the first element that leaves the stack. In C++, we can declare a stack using the stack and defining a type for the stack where TD is a defined type. So, some basic notation about stacks. The insert operation is called push and the removing operation that is removing the top element is called pop. So imagine we have an empty stack. We want to insert, for instance, the number five. Consider for this example that we have a stack of integer numbers. So we push the number five. So the top of the stack is five. So now consider we want to insert the number eight. So we do another push operation of the number eight, and now the top element points to the last element that we have inserted, which is eight. So let's start on the bottom for didactic and visual purposes, so that when we insert a new element, we push a new element, we put the element on top of the previous element, and we also update the top. So consider we want to insert now the number four, so we do another push operation and we put it at the top of the stack. Then we push six. Keep in mind that whenever we want to insert a new element, we want to push a new element, we always put it at the top of the stack. Now imagine that we want to remove an element from the stack. Now at this point, the only element that we can remove is the element six, the number six because it is the number that we have at the top of the stack. We cannot remove four, neither eight, neither five. So let's apply a pop operation. So as we see, the six has been removed and now the top of the stack is the element four. Whenever we do a push operation or a pop operation, we always update the top of the stack. So with this, we end the introduction lesson to stacks. The main things that you need to know is that the stack data structure is a last in first out type structure in which the last element that enters in the stack is the first element leaving the stack. Whenever we want to insert or remove an element, we do it at the top of the stack and the insert operation is called push and the removing operation is called pop. On the next lesson, we will start practicing and see how we can implement stacks.